excuse me? Yeah? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kellerman, Twin Oaks, Ohio. We finally got here. <laughs> Did you have a reservation? Yeah, made by the Drexel Company through the Hilton Reservation Service. In Twin Oaks, Ohio. Yeah. You must be pretty busy putting people up in the lobby. Oh, it's the least we could do. With this transit strike, most of them have no way to get home. And there's not a room in the city tonight. Oh, that's very nice of you. Oh, here we are. George Kellerman. Yeah, I hope you got a big, nice drive in. And a drugstore open. I have to get an eyelash and tape for my ankle. <laughs> Say, Kellerman, this is for the 17th. Yeah, right. This is Thursday the 18th. You're not telling me you didn't hold the room, though. We always hold the room, except when otherwise indicated. Your reservation indicates hold until 10 p.m. It's now five minutes to three. We had a thousand requests of you had wired or called. I couldn't wire a call. I was circling and running. As I say, we always hold the room unless otherwise indicated. Now, as you can see for yourself, your reservation clearly indicates hold until 10 p.m. Because I thought I'd be here by 8 p.m. I didn't know then I was going to fly to Boston and then take a cattle car to New York, and then have to walk in a hurricane from Grand Central Station. Will, will you verify that to this man, Gwen? I can verify that. Yes, and we didn't expect this trend to strike. As I said, if you indicated hold until arrival, or if you had wired or called... You've already said it three times. Meanwhile, I'm tripping all over your lobby with an olive pit in my empty stomach. And my wife is shivering and limping with weak ankles. If I can get a room, you and your hotel are fourth on my list to be sued. Now I want to see some action. Can you wait here just a second? Where do you think I'm gonna go in the middle of a month soon? Hey, my wife is in very bad shape, tell me. I'm in very bad shape. Don't worry, let's straighten this whole thing out. I've gotta give us a run. I hope so. Mr. Kellerman, I just spoke to Mr. Brutzi, the assistant manager. Yeah. Is Brutzi, huh? Yes, he says he's awfully sorry for this misunderstanding. Yeah, well, that's better. Unfortunately, we don't have a single room available. I see. Would you please put your full name and Mr. Brutzi's name down on a piece of paper? I'll need it for the trial. This is my wife, Mrs. Kellerman. She's a witness to everything that went on here. Gwen, after he puts his name down here, I want you to sign it with the date and the exact time of day. I may be just a wet, insignificant out of town, but you people took up with the wrong person. Is there a drugstore open? Not until the morning. There's one a few blocks from here. If there's anything wrong, I can send the boy. Don't let him send anybody. It'll weaken the case. I happen to have a stomach disorder that has been further aggravated by you people not giving me a room. And my lawyer's going to have all of this information first thing in the morning, along with a doctor's report about my stomach and my wife's ankles. I started to say, sir, we have two airline pilots in room 819. They're checking out at 7 a.m. You can have that room at no charge. 7 o'clock? I won't be dry until 8. I wouldn't settle this for less than a million dollars. Come on. Where? What are we going to do? Will you come on?